So I just want to say a few words, and may I call Representative Diana Urban up to um, Yay. And I'm going to get emotional, just so, you know, bear with me. So, um, yeah. So, um, Clean Water Action wanted to represent Diana Urban tonight and recognize her leadership for her long-standing years of service on the Environment Committee, um, protecting the environment in Connecticut, for going out on a limb on many issues um, to protect the environment, and also for her leadership on the Children's Committee as the chair, the House chair of the Children's Committee, to staunchly fight for protecting children's health when it may not have been a politically um, charming. charming, thank you, Joyce, <laughs> issue, but she, they, she, she fights for the issues that are important to children, important to her constituents, important to the issues that we work on. And we can't thank her enough. Um, I want to just share with you that Representative Urban has been our bill champion for um, identifying chemicals of concern to children and working with the Department of Public Health to pro provide a framework that is sustainable in the state of Connecticut that will be a national model to reduce exposure to toxic chemicals in ch for, for children and um, ultimately all of us. And uh, she deserves all of our um, gratitude and applause. So Clean Water Action has unanimously um, agreed, wanted to present her with this award for her lifelong leadership and her commitment to protecting children's health, to protecting the environment, and we just want to thank her for all she does. And um, she deserves all of our applause. And, and before I let her speak, I want to... Yeah, I want to... Um, let you all know that Senator Blumenthal's office sent a certificate um, which reads, Certificate of Special Recognition presented to Diana Urban in being honored by Clean Water Action and also, and also the Coalition for Safe and Healthy Connecticut, which the Clean Water Action leads, for her outstanding efforts protecting children from harmful chemicals. This is from Senator Richard. <laughs> and I'd like to turn it over to Diane. Well, uh, first of all, I just want to thank Anne and Roger and everybody that's here tonight, but I know the reason that she's giving this to me. <laughs> the reason that she's giving this to me is because I spent four hours and seven minutes. On the, Eleven minutes, let's get it straight. On the Appropriations Committee defending the uh, chemicals of high concern. And it actually ended up in a national publication. <laughs> and it was a tremendous article because what they did, my, in my other life I'm an economist, and I know the structure of the chemical industry. I know they're oligopolies, you know, which is just a fancy word for they're actually monopolies. And I know how they can control the political dialogue with their money. And they know I know. So when this kind of thing comes to the forefront, and I'm able to, in a committee meeting, or when I'm getting questioned, to bring that out, and then to have a national publication pick that up and say, you know what, this really is true. This really is what's going on out there. Because when you're talking about the health of our children, you know, I get so tired of this, that our children are our future. Well, if our children are our future, then why don't you vote like that? Why don't you listen to what's going on? Why don't you take a look at the research and understand 
And if you're sitting there yammering about the cost of health care and getting all excited and upset about that, why don't you take a look at where those costs are emanating from and where there is a very obvious way for us to deal with that. So in working on these issues, I would tell you, and it's, it's almost amazing to me, we uh, took on the cadmium issue in children's jewelry. I now, states check in with me to see what I'm doing next because the lobbyists go and tell them I'm doing something that I'm not doing. This is serious. They will actually make up stuff. You know, Representative Urban's decided that we can accept this amount of cadmium in kids' jewelry. And they'll call me, I'll say, yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I did not say that. But the fight, and we have been taking the fight chemical by chemical, and we've been, you know, successful chemical by chemical, but we can't continue to fight that way. And that was the big bill that we put together this year. And we really thought we had it uh, to a point where we were ready to go until the four hours and 11 minutes <laughs> of, the, of that particular committee meeting. But we were, you know, we're working on it. We're putting it together. We're trying to focus on green chemistry, make Connecticut the new Germany. Um, let's follow that model. And you can't do it without people like you. I mean, I, you know, sure, I'm the one that uh, is fronting it in the legislature. I don't mind taking the hits, but I'm not going to take the hits unless you guys are there to pick me up. Seriously, you know? Yeah, that's, and that is very, very important. And that has been my experience. It's always been, you know, take a hit, she'll come over, pick me up, say, man, that's a pretty good hit, Diana. <laughs> say, yeah, and it was. <laughs> and then, you know, we regroup and, and we go forward. So the numbers that Anne was uh, rattling off to you about the toxic chemicals that are still out there that are not tested, that uh, TSCA, you know, now they're coming up with these new rules on the Toxic Substance and Control Act, which basically they always insert something that makes it go backwards. And it's, uh, it's just incredibly, incredibly important, this work. And I have been on the chemical side. Uh, Representative Steinberg has been working really hard on the energy side. I was on that energy work until um, I turned it over to some of our very, very capable legislators as I became chair of the Children's Committee. And honestly, I don't think leadership understood why I took chair of the Children's Committee until they started to see what I was going to do as chair of the Children's Committee. And it comes back to it's very difficult to say no to children. And that's what I've used in every bill that I take out of that committee. So I make sure I'm going to make you say no to children. And now let's see how that works out. Mm -hmm. And it's been very successful. So this is, this is amazing. I am so thrilled to get this. Thank you, you guys. It means a lot to me.